Nothing else matters. That is the only question. If you would not feel the horrible burden of time weighing on your shoulders and crushing you to the earth, be drunk with it. Drunk with what? With wine, with poetry, or with virtue as you will, but be drunk in. You said you understood what I've been up against as a child. The hell you do. How could you? You've had everything. You've had nurses, school, college. Oh, I know you didn't stay there. You've had clothes, food. Oh, I know you had a fling of hard work with your back and hands, a bit of homelessness and pennilessness in a foreign land. And I respect you for it. It was a game of romance and adventure to you. It was, it was play. But I must confess, the even though I couldn't help loving you, I don't think I ever would have married you if I know you drank so much. I remember the first night your ballroom friends had to help you to the door of our hotel room. They knocked and then ran away before I could get to the door. I didn't know what had happened to you. I thought it had to do with some business with the theater. I knew so little about the theater. Then I began to grow worried. I imagined all sorts of terrible things. I got to on my knees and prayed that nothing had happened to you. Listen, kid, I know that you think I'm a cynical bastard, but remember, I've seen so much more of this game than you. You didn't know it was really wrong until you were in prep school. Papa and I kept it from you, but I was wise ten years or more before we had to tell you. We're in for another long night of fog, I'm afraid.